Welcome to the Breakwaters Podcast. We got, we got two special guests this time. We got Tony and we got my man Thomas. How are you guys doing? Good. How about you? What's up, Jorge? It's good. All right. <laughs> uh, Tony, you want to introduce yourself to everybody about you? Sure. Um, so I'm Tony. Um, I work with George at the Mess, and I currently work for the New York Islanders. Yeah, with me too, you forgot to say. Come on. Yeah, Georgia. <laughs> well, I don't work in the same department as you at the Islanders, but we do both work at the Islanders. Yeah. Yeah, I see Tony <laughs> all the time. I say, "What's up?" You know, so it's great. Yeah, try to give me so, try to give me t-shirts all the time. <laughs> all right, Thomas. Yeah, I work with you at the Mets too. Tell me about you. Yep. Yeah, I'm I'm Thomas. I have the the pleasure of working with these two fine people at the Mets. Make make my day a lot better. <laughs> Some Mets news. Tommy fan just signed. I know you're a big yeah. Mets fan, Tom. What do you oh, think yeah. of Tommy fan signing? I think it's a great pickup. Great for a fourth outfielder. Um, he yeah. had a pretty good year last year. I'll take it. All right. When did, when did we do that? Just now. <laughs> like literally oh, cool. just now. Missed it. Completely yeah. missed it. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Cool. 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 Love that for us. All right. Okay. Let's let's. Take everybody to the to the process. How did you guys get the Mets job? How did it work out? Because I want to know, too. How did you guys get the job? How did it work out? You can go first, Thomas. Well, I applied for FanFest, where we are now, in uh, 2020. Got the job. Unforeseen circumstances. Didn't start. Um, <laughs> so then... Uh, the next season, I was doing the uh, the COVID vaccine checks. And then when that ended, I came in over to work with you fine people. Nice. Awesome. Um, and then I started in 2019. I actually never applied officially. <laughs> um, my dad is very good friends with Brian. Um, he fixes his car. So they're, you know, besties. Um, and he was also very good friends with the old guy who used to work um, in audiovisual. He doesn't work for the mess anymore. And they, Brian pretty much reached out to me and said, hey, I know you want to kind of start working in sports and getting, you know, seasonal job might not be a great, um, it might be a great place to start. And working with him has been pretty amazing. I love him. I'm obsessed with him. Um, he also works at the Islanders too. So I see him pretty much every day. Um, but I started there and then from there kind of proving myself to be more than just like the person who got the favor hire. Um, so that's where I started in 2018. And then in 2020, when we shut down, um, I also did the COVID checks with Thomas and then kind of came back. So it's been quite a time working with the mess. Oh, that's dope. What about the Islanders? How'd you get that job? So the Islanders job, I actually got through pretty much networking. Um, I applied for that position. I was in grad school at the time, so I needed an internship to graduate. And um, I was at the Mets game with one of my friends, and he had just started kind of working for the Islanders. But since it was still kind of COVID, he hasn't, you know, wasn't at the office and he wasn't meeting people. So it just so happened that the day that we went to this game, his entire department was there and I ended up meeting like everyone in his department. And one of them was like, at the time, he doesn't work for the Islanders anymore either, but (laughs) at the time he was like the head of the creative department and he put in a pretty good word for me there. So that was again, another favor hire, but still kind of putting my best self forward to prove that you're more than a favor hire because Sometimes favorite hires don't work out. And luckily for both teams, I am just a personality hire altogether. Mm-hmm. So okay. that's <laughs> true. Awesome. She has a personality. See here. And How did you get the job, George? Oh, uh, putting me on the spot. All right. mm. Basically, uh, I just like applied online, gave it like same old Joe apply online, try to <laughs> myself out there. Islander, same thing, trying to put myself, trying to put myself out there. I don't want to ask you to help me out because it would be like my my first job, my first year knowing you. So I want to put you <laughs> in the spot. So I try to find my, I like Tony likes. So if I work with Tony, if not, 
it's always uh, something in the the cards for me. So I applied. I got the job. The rest is history. And the rest is history. Lead in blue and orange now, bud. Mm. Uh, of course. Yes. Of course. The Jets. How did you get in with the Jets? Yes. My, my friend, he was on, oh, the, oh, oh, oh. on the podcast. He said, you should, you should apply. We need people. If you want some extra cash on Sundays, watch the games. And that's pretty much it. And let's talk about football since you mentioned it. So let's talk about the NFL predictions. What do you guys got? We got a big win from the Giants. I'm a Giants fan. Let's let's uh let's get let's get right into it. Um, I think the Bills are going all the way. I love Josh Allen. Me too. He's the next the- next week against Joe Burrow is going to be probably the best game. So. Yeah. And all I'm saying is the Giants haven't lost to a number one seed in the past nine games. So watch out, Philly. Yeah, that's the Eagles. Like they're overrated, Thomas. Like if they oh, of course, so good. Everybody talks about them. They lost. To, they lost, lose to the Commanders, man. How you lose to the Commanders? Exactly. Come on. And plus, I want some revenge. They 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 cost us the playoffs with the Nate. They put Nate Sudfeld in. They, they, oh yeah. They drafted Devontae Smith. I really want Devontae Smith <laughs> on, on, on my podcast. I I. I I, when we had the draft with my co-host, Craig, I was like, please get Devontae Smith, and it didn't work out. So I, I really want that revenge. I, I really want them to play out that last game, but it just didn't work out with yeah. everybody. But I really wanted them to lose the number one seed and try to get, get them out of the play. Now we get to play them, it's going to be great. Saquon's going to have a big game. They're, they're horrible against the run. They're just going to give it a Saquon. <laughs> like they're going to win. I want it. I want it to be Giants, Giants, Bills, or Giants, Bengals in the Super Bowl. I think that'll be fun. The Bill, the Bills are winning the Super Bowl. I love the Bills. That's all I got. That's all I can really contribute to this conversation because I don't follow football that closely. I only follow the playoffs. Only follow the Bills. Plus, I went there when I go some. When I went to the Bills game, it was a great time. So when I go to a game, watch them in person, they always end up winning. Toronto, I went to Toronto Raptors game, Eastern Conference Finals, they end up end up winning. Usually I'm always a good luck charm. Teams always <laughs> win because of me. So Buffalo So when Bills, when you were in Buffalo, did you jump through a table? Did you officially join Bills Mafia? Yeah, I, I jumped through the table. Oh, yeah. It was, it was you jumped crazy. through a table? Yeah, yeah. Shut up. That's amazing. Oh. Is there video footage of that? Can we leak that somewhere? Fortunately, not because I had I went with my mom and her friend. <laughs> my, my friend lives there. I had to just scatter on my own and try to find some people. So it's all right. We'll just do it again. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring a folding table to opening day, and the one of the twins can like throw you through it. Why well, wait that long? Bring it to yeah. UBS. Oh uh, yeah. Do you want? I'll bring one to UBS today. <laughs> Are you working later? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm bringing a table. I'm going <laughs> to throw you through a table. That's going to be so fun. Nice, nice. All right. So, what's your. What's we, can, your... we can put you in a sparky suit and then I'll throw you into the table. Mm. That's content. I like that. That's a good, that's a good call. <laughs> I like that. Good, so good. What's your guys' uh, predictions of uh, this weekend and the Super Bowl? Which, what's going to happen? Um, that's the best matchup going forward is um, Bills Bengals. The rest of the games are like they could be cool. Giants, obviously, that could be a good one. Both hate each other, but the one that I'm like really excited for is Bills Bengals. That's the two best. Yes, for sure. I think the Bills gonna win 27 24. That's my prediction. Oh. Book it. Book it. Uh, put money on that. George, if I put the house on it. Giants are gonna win, thirty-one twenty-eight. I got that. I got that as my score prediction. I got Cowboys winning. Uh, what twenty-four twenty? I think that's gonna be a good score. Who are the Cowboys Hold on. playing? Cowboys, San Fran. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. And the Chiefs are just gonna blow out. The are they? Game. Are they gonna miss more field goals this time? <laughs> I don't know. It was. Tom Brady, he should have won the game. Like he missed all <laughs> field goals. Like you got to take it. He usually takes advantage, but I don't know what happened. He's old. He's so old. 
It's also the private and life. He, like people, and people he's divorced, yeah. Yeah. People don't talk about it. Like, it, it, it's it's strange. You're like, when you like, go in a relationship, you fall in love with the person. The person's not there with you to support you. It, it, it kind of involves in your, in your play, you know? So, yeah. Don't I don't think about that. I don't think she's been there for a while. So I think just the complete cut really just drained him. Mm-hmm. He uh, looks terrible, like <laughs> physically playing. He just looks bad. And he's just, it. if you see like pictures of him, it looks like the life has been sucked out of him. Giselle has been like his fountain of youth this whole time. And no, no more. He's cut off from the fountain of youth. So he now looks just terrible all around. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but <laughs> hot take. That's my hot take of the day. Tom Brady's gonna DM you and be like, "What the hell?" <laughs> if Tom Brady DM me, he needs to get a life. <laughs> yeah, well, he's got a lot of free time. He's out of the playoffs. He's like a 20, <laughs> 23 year old girlfriend now. That's what I'm hearing. So whoa, what's going on? All right, let's go to everyone's favorite round, the quick fire round. You guys know the drill. You guys watch. Yeah. You guys watched the show before. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sparkle in one of my a new question in here. Who what's your okay. favorite podcast that you guys liked this year? Oh, I love the one with Kiggins. Oh, yeah. That was my answer. But I like that one too. That's a good one. I like the one with Kiggins. Nice. All right. Uh, favorite snack. Come on. My favorite snack. Popcorn. Nice. Popcorn or Reese's pieces. Nice. Good choice. Favorite color? Go ahead, Thomas. I Blue and orange. Color. Blue and orange. Okay, cheese. <laughs> cheesy. Um, my favorite color is blue. On occasion, it's yellow. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Favorite commercial? Um, okay, so I like the commercials where it's I, for, I don't have, like, I have cable TV. I don't watch cable TV very often. But I really like the commercial where it's the one that's, like, don't turn into your parents. And it's all of these, like, young <laughs> yeah. people, like, turning into, like, old people. Or, like, acting like old, you know, boomers. That's my favorite. Those are my favorite commercials. Sure. The Limu Emu ones make me laugh. <laughs> Limu Emu. Exactly. <laughs> That's a, that's, a, that's a good one. I like that one. Let's go. Favorite athlete of all time. All time. Yes. David Wright, probably for you. I know you. I was I was gonna say writer Piazza. <laughs> or Lundquist, Henrik Lundquist. Uh, favorite athlete of all time. That's so fucked that mine is also David Wright. Well, but... yours is probably Drew Smith. Drew Smith. Nice. Of all time, though, like I can't. I don't know. I, I could probably go. Yeah, I I do be loving Drew Smith. Um, <laughs> I yeah, that's fine. You could book Drew Smith for that. All right, favorite team. I'm assuming that's the Mets, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. All right. Uh, favorite cereal. Frosted Mini Wheat. Ooh, nice. Reese's Puffs. And go to everyone's favorite. <laughs> Favorite favorite TV show? I'm on a Simpsons kick right now, but if it's on, like, and I have to turn it on, and I like it's on, and I can't change the channel. The Office. Nice. I'm in a I'm in a that '70s show rewatch. It do be slapping. Nice, nice. What about favorite movie of all time? Um, the Any Sandlot. of the Star Wars. Actually, Thor Ragnarok. Mm, good one. Cool, cool, cool. I want to go to everyone's favorite question. Who's your celebrity crush? I got, I got a couple, George. <laughs> hey, name. Um, do you want like athlete or like celebrity? Celebrity doesn't matter. Just go crazy. Oh God. Okay. Well, I can't go crazy because you know I work for these teams. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say Chris Evans. Mm. Oh, cool. It's a good one. That's I mean, all you're getting. <laughs> in the middle of my That 70s Show rewatch, I got to say Mila Kunis. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm shocked that you didn't say Kate Upton. Mm, true. Wasn't thinking that. 
Well, I also work for that team, so I can't really do that. Yeah. You know, you know, Austin Kutcher, they, they had their first kiss. You know, they're married now. Oh yeah. Yes. yes. On yes. the show. And go. she was like very underage on that show. That was like I don't know how old he was, but I know she was like fourteen, and he was maybe like seventeen or eighteen. Rut row, like rut row, raggy. Right. But yeah, they're married now. They have kids and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. I saw. I remember her and Ted. I was like, yeah, so. <laughs> That's what you remember her, her from? Her claim to fame, Ted. Ted, and then my dad's like, "Hey, look, they're Fenway on here. They're baseball. You'd like it." And I'm like, "All right." And we just watched this from the beginning. And yeah, it's good. It was a good. It was a good movie, but not my yeah. favorite though. I saw Ted with my dad in mm. like the movie theaters. That is not a movie that you go like no, no with your not. parent. And I, it's a little uncomfortable. I was also young. <laughs> Not something to be doing. All right, okay. Julie, what's who's your celebrity crush? You guys, come on. Yeah, how come you don't answer any of these questions? Yeah, you the people want to know. You guys watch the videos. Come on. You guys, I, have to, I have to spell for you. It's Faith Hill, Sunday Night mm-hmm. Football. I did know that it was Faith Hill. Yeah. And then I just, that was it. I no overtime, Meg? No, over, over time. no, I'm not. I'm not Frank. I don't like over. Time. <laughs> uh, that ain't my thing. Not your thing. Yeah. Uh, you don't like the Carrie Underwood uh, Carrie, football song? Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood is not. It was Faith Hill, and then it was Carrie. I was like, "Where's Faith Hill? I don't, why don't Faith Hill? Carrie Underwood?" And I was like, "Oh, she's she's good looking too." Okay, it's not that <laughs> bag of a change, you know. Carrie Underwood has like legs for days. I want her to like drop her leg day routine. She has like, she's, I'm not kidding. I'm so, you know. Yeah, sure. but, all right. We're going to uh, wrap off the podcast. Anything you want to wrap off with? A lot. I, mean, I don't have anything. I don't think. Say, you know, thank you for coming, George. I appreciate it. Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't think you were talking about that. I mean, yeah, thank you for having us on. Yeah. This is, you know, brighten my day. A, I can't wait to hang out with dream you later. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're Hopefully lucky. You get, get to, to come back. You get to see George later today. I got to wait a while to see him. Yeah. Nah, just I go mean, out, man. We gotta you go can out. text him. That's <laughs> true. That is true. And uh, where could people find you guys? People can find me physically probably at UBS Arena. Um, yeah, I, I never leave City Field. Um, people can follow me on Instagram yeah. at Tony Ashkenazi. It's long and it's spelled right there. Um, Links in the description. And that's it. Yeah, link, link in the bio. Yeah, um, yeah that's me. Yeah, Go you can ahead, find Thomas. me at t.blanc on Instagram. Nice, nice. And this includes our episode, and I'll see you in a splash.